Hi, my name is Heather Stroud. I'm a senior consultant in the Dell Tech Cost Point Group at Redstone Government Consulting. I work primarily in the accounting, projects, and planning modules. We work with our clients to implement Cost Point, create customized Cost Point training, and assist with day-to-day -day processing. Redstone's president, Asa, and I are going to sit down today to go over some common Cost Point questions we hear from our clients. Heather, Cost Point just doesn't seem to be intuitive or user-friendly. Our Cost Point team has an overview presentation that will take you through the flow of the system and how to understand the core configuration and how that translates to your general ledger, project reporting, and financial statements. Cost Point can be a bit overwhelming at first. Our team provides customized step-by-step -step procedures with screenshots and one-on-one -on -one training to help your staff become comfortable with the software. We are a very small company, no current government contracts, but are hoping to win work in the near future. Is it worth my time to jump into Cost Point now versus down the road once we've grown? Yes, always yes. We can design your Cost Point system to meet your needs today and leave room to grow for future work. By implementing early, you will put yourself in a position to pass a DFARS accounting system audit. This also sets you up for the inevitable DCAA accounting system audit. Cost Point has 20 steps to any task that used to be one to two steps in our old accounting software. Why is it so complicated? Some of these steps are built-in mechanisms for data integrity and to incorporate an approval process within the system. This helps integrate the DCAA review and approval requirements we discussed earlier. A good example are timesheets. The manager approving the timesheet should be reviewing the project and project labor category for each employee and verifying that against the statement of work. We can't make the approvers actually check the data, but the system forces a second set of eyes to be responsible for that data. Yes, CostPoint does require many steps for common tasks. Because of its flexibility, it can be complicated. However, with the proper configuration, settings, and project structure planning, the system can provide a solution to offline Excel spreadsheets commonly used for pricing, proposals, invoicing and budgeting needs. When you post a transaction in one module, it affects multiple tables on the back end. There are 1,400 tables in Cost Point. All transactions from time, expense, accounts payable, and accounts receivable are automatically posted to the general ledger during the Cost Point posting process. The project ledger is updated through a series of processes based on the data posted to your general ledger. This removes the potential of human error when entering data to both the general ledger and project ledgers. Ultimately, this helps the integrity of the data being passed to your customers through invoicing and project reporting.